Cowbells have been ringing all night. They're honoring the 1998 team that played for an SEC championship. And here's this year's version of the Bulldogs trying to make more noise here at home in Starkville. Zach Arnett squad looking for its second conference win in the last three weeks. They got Arkansas a couple of weeks ago, and they can make some noise if they can take down Kentucky here at home tonight. Here come the Bulldogs. Man is ready. Being around here the last three days, the fan base believes in this Aggie team, and they believe in each other. Unranked, Jimbo Fisher says the national media doesn't want us to be good. As Gary said, they win today and they move in to the driver's seat in the SEC West. And here come the Aggies. third member of our team, Jenny Dell. Well, since Texas A&M joined the SEC... Jenny and kick it off when we come back. 
Nittany Lions and the Hawkeyes on CBS. One of college football's great traditions, of course, happens here in Midtown Atlanta. Since the early 1960s, this Model A Ford has brought Georgia Tech football to the playing surface here in Midtown. for this Tennessee team which is looking to find its footing on an uneven season so far but has an opportunity for a statement win tonight against the Gamecocks of South Carolina. Their head coach Josh Heifel is standing by with Cole Kubelik. Tenth meeting all time between the Duke Blue Devils and the North Carolina Tar Heels. Both have two losses in league play to go with three wins. Carolina is seven and two. Duke is six and three. The way the ACC shapes up, the winner tonight still has hope for Charlotte. And here comes Mac Brown's Tar Heels. Austin than to take this man on in this stadium, but that's the goal. He said that's who we are. That's our culture, and that's what we got to do. Most teams don't do that when they come in here. Most teams don't win when they come in here as visitors either. It's the longest home winning streak in FBS, 21 straight. The coach is as businesslike as his law enforcement escorts, and the team behind him is too. They don't charge out on the field. They kind of trot out there's almost a, a, a swagger to it and it's deserved Last weekend didn't quite get you going. Tonight should. They don't lose regular season games. Well, Chris, I'm here in one of the most amazing places in all of college football. I'm talking about the Hill at Clemson, and here is just a little bit different. I'm right here with Cadet Zach DeSatnik, who is going to fire this cannon, a tradition that's been going strong since 1954 when George Bennett started it. Nobody goes until this cannon right here blows, and they're going to have an amazing time today trying to shut down the high-flying Drake May Show. Oh! Goodness, baby. Oh my goodness, I heard Davo Sweeney. Oh, look at him go, people. Look at him go. He's running like he's going to pregame chapel. I love it. You gotta love this. Okay, Davo, let's go. Let's go. Back to you, Bob. I think Davo's ready. I think RG3 is ready. This crowd is ready. The heels and the Tigers as they touch the rock. Senior day down the hill. We're back in a moment. CC Saturday night presented by T-Mobile 5G Home Internet and what a sight at Williams-Brice Stadium. 
Cocky being introduced amongst the fireworks in a series that never seems to disappoint and always impacts how these fan bases feel about their seasons. It's Kentucky and South Carolina. This place is absolutely rocking. And the Gamecocks, a different team at home, look to continue that momentum tonight.